Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul in Far Harbor, and we are currently trying not to die. Um, I ended the last episode in between saves, and I'm now sneaking away from the people shooting at us. I had some wolf's meat, and it's improved my night vision. How cool is this? Like, I needed just to cut down weight, so I just had a bunch of it. But now I'm looking around, I'm like, oh my god. This is really useful. This was absolutely a lot harder to see before. But now, it is way easier to see. It is very cool to have that happen. Now, we're going to switch to this gun real quick. And pop your head, or your chest, whatever. Pop your chest. So, I, uh... Oh, man. I went off on a little bit of a fun rant. I consider it a fun rant yesterday. Uh, about, like, people asking, Hey, like, you know, can we do a collaboration? And then what I look for when I'm doing a collaboration with someone. And I hope that that came across clear in a way of like saying like, hey, I'm not saying you suck, or you're like, I would never collaborate with you. I'm just trying to say, you know, you kind of, it needs to be an equal exchange or equal enough. Like, I mean, think of it as like an investment, right? Like you invest time into the other person in hoping to get something out. And the best kind of investments are, uh-oh. Legendary Grim Trapper. What does he have in his hand? Just a gun. Okay. Cool with that. Cool with just a gun. Shoot you. Oh, I guess we'll shoot you again and then we'll pop into your head. All right. Let's do that. Shoot. Shoot. Critical on his head. Oh, goodness me. Oh, that was nice. A lot of extra damage from that. I cannot pick anything up right now for some reason. Why is that? Pause real quick. Unpause. Bring up the thing. Go back. Come on. He had a legendary on him. I want to be able to pick shit up. Interesting. I don't know why that is. I do not know why that is. Holy crap. You scared me. Uh, just a Grim Trapper? Alright. Well, let's uh, just unload it him, I guess. If there's a bed in here. Uh, that would be really nice. I'm also very confused about how the damage is reflecting right now on enemies that we're shooting. Do we have a really high adrenaline? We do, but this is... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! So, did someone shoot through the floor? Where are you? Just... Ah! Ah! Spit a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, let's pull out the two-shot gamma pistol. Um, keep going upstairs. You know what? Hold on. There you go. God, I keep bumping into this. It's like it wants me to go up there, but it doesn't. Stop lying to me. All right. Um, I feel like that mine actually might be dangerous even up here because there are holes in the floor. <gasps> beds! Beds, beds, beds. <laughs> Come on. Where are you, dude? Come out here. All right. Well, while we're waiting not to die, I kind of want to talk a little bit more about, um, that. you know, it's like an investment, you know, where it's you're giving me an equal opposite whatever benefit. Or potential benefit. I mean, that's why, you know, when you're looking for investors, you're trying to convince them that it's a smart investment. If it, you can't convince them it's a smart investment, uh, you know, they don't invest in it. And that rule can kind of change a little bit if they're like your best friend, because helping your friend out, even if it's not necessarily the best investment, sometimes it's just nice to help a friend out. You know, like, they appreciate it. Your friendship kind of offsets the risk. They're like, yeah, I'm more likely to lose the money, but hey, anything for you, pal. Where are you? I'm scared to go down there because I don't want you to walk in right as the mine is there and kill us both. Alright, well that actually, we solved that problem real quick, so that's good. There you are? Now, so, that didn't kill you. That did, okay. Too much to run. That's fine. We're going to go up and save in a second. So that's a okay. We can pick stuff up though. But before we save, we're going to inch our way over to get ourselves into a wonderful, hopefully sweet new item. I'm gonna just. I don't want to take whiskey. I just keep taking whiskey, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm carrying the nocturnal tire iron still. I'm just gonna put that down just so I can walk faster for the moment. You know, for whatever reason, I, uh, seem to not be able to access this dude's stuff. Hmm. That sucks, because that was a legendary. Well, we're gonna take a save either way, though, and, uh, hope for the best. Alright, auto saves occurred. Tired from lack of sleep. That's fine. Let's see if we can get the stuff now. Um. Well, 
I do have a final option. Let's see if we just detonate his body, if we can actually get what we need out of it. Am I far enough back? I think, uh, what am I hitting? Uh, car. Alright, keep going back. Uh, a little bit farther, a little bit farther. Oh, oh, I might be just in a bad position. Period. Can I get on this car? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Alright, can I access this guy's body now? Yes, I can. Cool. Oh, no, don't eat him! Oh, no! I hit the eat button. Well, now we have a dark cravings. Now, it just said I succumb, though. Does it mean that... Oh, no, food long no longer satisfies. Shit. All right. Uh, well, now I just have to eat everybody. Interesting. Not useful, but interesting. All right, well, let's just uh, make sure we eat everybody we have the chance to until we get this healed up now. God, I hate when I accidentally hit that button. Apparently, I'm overweight now, too. And I have too much to eat? No, it's the arm thing I'm carrying. Of course, of course, of course. This is sick. So cool. Because it hits so many times. So it just... It just spikes in damage. Oh, that is so cool. I, we've got to try it. It's not going to really work with us, but we got to try it at least once. Drop in a couple heavy beats of junk that we don't really need. And I think now we can just start heading back to Far Harbor. Because, uh, well, that's pretty much the island so far for us so heading in the northeast direction that'll be good the people of tampine bluffs you may lose i do not care i am so far away oh, these carapaces look awesome up here but the thing is is that if she spits on that this is doing nothing to protect it i mean nothing it's cool to see it there but i'd imagine it to have to be like plastered all over the place this is very interesting she is now molded into the ground let us, oh, she's missing a head. She was actually not molded. She was just missing a head. All right, let's, uh, let's chat with a doctor right now. Get rid of, uh, <laughs> I need to get rid of the dark craving thing. Yeah, see what's wrong with me, doctor. Let's get you settled in. I'm eating people, doctor. <laughs> Help. It still kind of blows my mind how quickly one can cross the island when they're just doing a straight shot across. Like with an aqua boy, aqua girl kind of thing. Like it was... A lot faster than I expected. Anyway, with the rant kind of thing, it's like, uh, I think if you guys are interested at one point in me doing a video about like, hey, this is what I did to grow, I think it makes sense to share that, you know, and there's value to it to me as well. So anyway, let's go talk to the Mariner. That's uh, that's enough of that. It's just, a, you know, I wanted to share. As safe as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? Reason and sense keep steering you clear. You know, I, uh, so far, crazier's been the better for us. The craziest ideas are usually the best. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold and unbalanced, right? Nope. You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death may have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves, only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale. But no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. Maybe because they In crash. Their bones, they know there's something out there. All right. Any proof? Is there any evidence the Red Death is real? When I was a little one, I went sailing with my aunt. Fog rolled in thick and fast. And we saw it. Glowing red, crimson. An unholy light that stretched to the sky. My aunt was no fool. We rode to shore with all our might. Tide made it Man. hard. That would be freaky. Landfall. Okay. Yeah, I suppose the Red Death could exist. Good. <laughs> open mind. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. Oh, I shit. mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? Sure. I mean, what's involved? How do we go about this hunt? No one's encountered the Red Death up close and lived. But many folk have seen it glow from afar. I've been collecting the details of those sightings for years. All right. We take our boats, and I can get us there. I know it. But it could be the deadliest challenge we ever face. So I'll understand if you pass. So you think it's a creature? Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. We're not going to share our boats. It's going to test our metal more than anything. 
Well, if this is going to be like a sea battle, this will definitely be an interesting situation. At least I have a lot of guns that will work. How much ammunition do I have here? Oh, I have enough there. I have enough on both to kind of just like unleash everything, especially if well down. Um, maybe we should take this. I mean, but if we're going to fight in the water, though, I don't exactly want to take something that will sink to the bottom. You know, one thing that I'm really curious about is like, she seems to be convinced it's like, like a thing. I am... Honestly, if you see a red glow and it's only in the fog, it might not be a thing. It might be like gas coming up or something. And so we might not be able to hunt it, unfortunately. But, uh, well, hopefully it's something we can kill. Please. I heard about this expedition of yours. We need you. Please, turn back. The hull's strong. And one more rifle won't make a difference. Mainlander, I... if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose you both. Is it really that dangerous? Do you really think it's dangerous? Every now and again, some fool goes hunting for the Red Death. Sometimes they come back empty-handed, but more times than not, that's the last they're heard of. The hunt for the Red Death has taken its share of drunks, but it's also taken the lives of our mightiest men and women. Huh. Please, don't throw your life away. Consider us warned. Consider your warning delivered. If there's nothing I can say, <laughs> good luck. Huh. I mean, we've just fought the crazy Myrler Queen, and we were able to shoot some sweet plasma grenades, and we got a couple of those left. So really, I think we're prepared to fight some of these bigger things. Honestly, I'm really hoping we're going to be able to do that ship breaker at one point, too. So this could be a little warm-up. Travel to Red Death Island. Oh, it's an island. All right. Well, everyone, pleasure to see you. I hope you have a good time wherever you're headed. I'm on my adventure! Whee! Oh, that's right, you can't really jump when you do this. Okie dokie. Um, so I was told that this is actually supposed to take place on a place called... Oh, yeah, I do! Hello? Plotted a safe course for your boat. Don't tamper with it. Okay. Shoals near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. Oh, shit. I'll catch up to you. I'm glad I can survive the radiation water. Not much further, mainlander. Ooh, 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 exciting, when exciting. Stacy told others of her brush with the Red Death, they laughed at her. Did they? Then two weeks after, a full fishing boat never came back. Oh, she's From the beach, they saw the glow on the horizon. I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Wrecks all around it. There. Wow. You see it, right? Meet you there and get prepared. I kind of wish we did this at night. I feel like this would have been a little bit more spooky at night. Hey! Oh my god. Wait. Level 1. 45. Oh! <laughs> I told you! It was probably like an island! This guy just made people think, oh my god, dude! It can't be. That? That's the Red Death? Mission accomplished! Looks like you achieved your goal. <laughs> there it is! My whole life, I've been <laughs> having nightmares about a little mile lurk. <sighs> what do we say to all the folk back home? I meant this to be my last great adventure. Instead, if we tell the folk back at town, I'll be a laughing stock. A laughing Would stock? Would it really be that big of a deal? You've no idea how pig-headed and relentless harbormen can be. Or maybe you do. The story will be told for generations. Let's make it a legend. Maybe we embellish a little. Or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. I have little stomach for it. But it's better than the alternative. Let's go. I thought I got this for you to celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. Legend of the Harbor. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know, if I could wear this underneath everything, this could be actually pretty useful. Am I overweight now, though? No. Vanquish it? Look, so the truth is, is that this actually did kill a lot of things. And no one was willing to go and find it. So if we told the truth and said, hey, it turned out to be just some little thing that was running people aground because they thought it was something else. I think that's a fair, like, good story. 
But if people are gonna be pig-headed about it and like make fun of her, she's gonna die soon anyway. <laughs> oh, that sounds so sad. We can embellish it and say it was a massive Mirelurk thing. Plus, it's not like we wouldn't have been able to fight it if it was, so. All right, little guy, I'm sorry to take you out, but you have been killing too many people, so. Oh no, crab battle! Crab battle! Uh, oh god, disco. <laughs>now how do I leave I think we should take this with us so we can be like this definitely isn't the crab this just it's my new it's my new light oh no no hold on come on it's my new light it's my new light perfect take me back to Far Harbor Woo! <laughs>
Uh, what are your thoughts? Your thoughts? Whiskey's running low. How do you feel about our relationship? Don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out if you're worth a damn. Huh. All right, well, let's just it's send him back here now. It's time for us to part ways. Come find me. Oh, that's awesome. We can send him back. Nah, yeah, stay at Longfellow's cabin. That's that's a good place to keep you. <laughs> All right, then. So, not... Oh, look, look, they have happy whales up here. I've never noticed that. That's really cute. Huh. This is totally the opposite kind of personality, I'd think, for the happy whales, but whatever. So, I think at this point, I'm going to do some serious loadout mixes, because I don't want this to be our armor back in the Commonwealth. It's actually too heavy for what we need to be doing. So we're gonna head back there with whatever we can carry on us. Probably wearing this suit to add a little bit of extra carry weight and uh, carrying some of the cool new weapons and things. We'll experiment with the loadout and that'll be good. This is the end of an era. We're selling the Ooh Baby because of our better violent Ooh Baby, which I've completely removed everything good off of and moved to here. Good night, sweet prince. All right, let's move this up to 86 damage with our hardened receiver, which is as high as we can go because we don't have any perks in science or anything to get us into some of these like powerful receiver stuff. So we'll just start with that. All right, so this is the bolstering combat armor chest piece. This was the one that we were looking at to replace Acadia's shield because this is 30 damage resistance and 33 energy resistance. But this potentially could go like so. This is 30, 33. This could potentially go way higher because we've seen this go extremely high, where it's like just 13 to 8. Sometimes it's doing set, you know, like another 18 on top of that. So this could be in a similar situation, but we do lose the agility, intelligence, and endurance, which is amazing. All right, so if we weren't at full health, we'd be able to see how this inc much increases per little bits of damage. So the idea basically is how much higher of 30 and 33 is it worth to do the or to do this one. And then to lose endurance, intelligence, and agility. It's probably going to have to be pretty high for me to really want to or be willing to do that. I'm going to get rid of the captain's hat, uh, the unyielding metal right arm, and the unyielding synth chest piece because we're not going to use any of those ones. I also like the fact I'm doing the captain's hat straight to the guy who uh, gave me the captain's hat in the first place. Legend of the Harbor is... I guess because it's Mario Lurks and Bugs, that's why it's so expensive. But apparently I can't sell that one as easily. <laughs> Get our six fusion cores out of there. Perfect. I think I'm going to leave this suit of armor here. It's a wonderful set of stuff, but we're not going to be using it really on the mainland at all. This dude's been cooking the entire game. I'm waiting for time to eat it. Good old long sleep for a save and a well-rested character. Perfect way to enter back into the Commonwealth. Well, I think this is a... Uh... Unfortunately, we didn't find that sweet fog crawler, but uh, we might find a way eventually to get it. Maybe come back at some other character, but this character, it just didn't happen. So I think it makes sense for us to hop ourselves back into our badass sexy Vim armor, which is just really there because I liked it, and I think it would be a fun little bit to take back with us. Though I might actually leave it at the Nakano's, because I mean, I don't want to be wasting all our fusion cores when we're walking back to Diamond City. Or actually, I guess we'd be walking back to Mr. Cabot, is really what we'd be doing. But anyway, let's let's do this. It's time to say hello to the Nakanos again. Goodbye, everyone. It was an absolute pleasure working with you. It's uh, the Red Death. The potential Children of Adam bombs. Man, this is like an era. I mean, this is awesome. Such a cool DLC. I mean, it had everything that we had to complain about from, excuse me, that was, everything was fixed from Fallout 4. S uh, you know, abilities to have stat checks and the ability to do them, reasons to have perception and intelligence and, I mean, charisma, talking, options to be good or bad or in between. I mean, it was really, really cool. Oh, it's weird coming back to the Commonwealth. The colors are going to be all different. Also, could I use this boat to take me to Diamond City? Or at least as close as possible? This is just like an automatic boat. And I don't necessarily want to walk all the way back home if I could avoid it. Nope. Okay, well. That would actually be really interesting. Does it have that option? Like, do I now have the boat to go to places? Nah, it's just Far Harbor. Which I heard apparently was based off of Bar. Buh. Harbor. Alright, let's, uh, I think we'll just... Mom? 
I'm home. Kasumi? Wow. They waited a long time to have that conversation. Oh my god. My baby is okay. Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... You saved my daughter. Thank you. Happy to help. Happy to do it, Kenji. You don't often see kindness in the Commonwealth. Great. Good armor I'll replacement. Sorry. This. Kasumi, does this mean... You know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I was just so confused. I wanted to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm in a dress. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Listen to her next time. She's a synth. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her safe. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. Yeah. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't I have want much her. to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. What a ridiculous statement. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. Curious to see what they are. Thank you. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. Thank you. For everything. We're a family again. This is how it should be. Kasumi. I never realized before what... I put Kenji and Ray through. How much they've lost. It's good to be back. I have a lot of projects in the boathouse. Now I'll get to finish them. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a rough... That's a rough one for sure. Let's go ahead and dig up the stuff back here. Alright. Um, dig up supplies. Interesting, they don't have just a digging, like, animation at all. If you're not yet increases oh interesting um i don't really want that but it's interesting i'll take a fusion core though everything else relatively looks pretty cool boosted agitated plasma pistol yeah you know what? we'll hold on to that that sounds pretty cool too Ooh, heavy metal apparently that has a crazy higher amounts of uh dr than what we were currently using we're back in our military garb and our design as we were Ugh. It feels nice running freely as well, which is pretty cool. You know, one thing that I think is also kind of important and also be sort of nice would be if they would allow me to save. Because if I recall correctly, they didn't have a bed for me. They should now, though. I mean, their kid's home. Thank you so much. Kasumi is home. And I'll make sure Kenji gives her some space to breathe. I forgot about I knocked their lamps all over the place. Thank you for everything. We're a family again. This is how it should be. Seriously, guys? No beds? No beds for travelers? For travelers on survival mode who can't save? Oh, this must be the boat that she used to get out there. Gotcha. It comes with a bed. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. That was fantastic. Such a fun DLC, very different, good changes and everything, interesting additions to the actual gameplay, I like that new legendaries, which is pretty sick, oh man, so, anyway, dudes, that was super fun, probably one of the, my favorite DLCs that I've had a chance to play for Bethesda stuff, and, um, I think also, just as a kind of final thing, it's just like a, a build idea, maybe you eventually at one point we'll have an evil build that will destroy everyone on the island, it just sounds rid ridiculous and fun. So anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, the subscribe button to the bottom left. And of course, when the ground rises to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back and the sun show warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later.